Hello everyone. Welcome to your own channel on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. We are learning Apache Airflow, how to build data pipelines using Apache Airflow. In our last video, we learned about XCOM. In the last video, I mentioned that there are two challenges. One is how do we make our code modular? And second is XCOM is used to transfer objects from one task to another. It is used for cross communication between tasks. However, if the object to be transferred is a data frame, then because it is not JSON serializable, we cannot do it easily unless we use something called pickle or some other ways. In this part of the session, I am going to teach how to make our DAG modular. What do I mean by making code modular? The objective of DAG is to basically put together all pieces of business logic, which is part of your data engineering or your ETL code. In this DAG, the business logic which we write in an extract function, the transform function, the load function, the functions are written in the DAG itself. The DAG should primarily be used for putting the structure, the flow in which the code will execute. There are two ways of putting that structure. I like this one. So here we said start. Start is a dummy operator which will just initiate the operation, then extract, transform, load, and end. And is another dummy operator. So we know this is the sequence in which the code will flow. DAG should be used for that purpose. However, my business logic code, the functions are all written here. How do I make my code modular? To make my code modular, I should be moving out this code, the functions out of the DAG. They should not be present in the DAG file. So what I've done, we'll keep expanding on the code that we have written in our previous video. So this code I have now taken and pushed it here. Note in this code, the three functions, the extract function, the transform function and load function are not present. So where those functions have gone off, these functions, I have written another dot Python file where I have put all of these functions. All the three functions I have moved to some file which I have named as etl business logic dot py. So let me just explain the structure folder structure. DAG all my DAGs are in the DAG file. I don't want to mix the business logic and the DAG structure together. I have created a folder PyScript and PyScript2. PyScript2 is a small version so that you understand how the code is written. In PyScript2, I have put these file. In PyScript, all my other logics are there lots of my cores are there so that's why i have renamed and created a new pyscripts 2 folder okay in pyscripts 2 as i was explaining the business logic the etl part of this i copy simply copy pasted these functions and wrote in another file i named it as etl business logic.py which I have put in a folder pyscripts2.py. 
PyScript 2. So you can see DAGs PyScript 2. Now we had one global variable. Whenever you write ETL code, you may have certain global constants. You should create some initialization file or some constants file. I have named it at init.py and this init.py also I have put in PyScript 2. Now let me show how to make this code entirely modular. These are our standard imports. I have added OS package. Let's just compare with the previous code. These were all the imports till pandas SPD. I've just added import OS. I have set the folder path where I have init.py etl bizlogic.py and I change my working directory to that path and to get the functions and constants available here I am calling execute open read so basically open will open this file read the content and execute will execute the entire python code which is present in that file now if you see init.py it is only a constant all constants whatever constants you have you should put in one file so all these constants will get initialized second is this file bizlogic.py I open it, read it, and execute it. Here, I have defined all the functions. Only the definition of the functions is present. There is no calling statement, which means all these functions will also get interpreted by the Python interpreter. And finally, when the DAG structure is created, when we are now calling the Python operator and we want to invoke the extract function because this dot py file is already interpreted the functions has already been available now so you will be able to access it as a result you can see the entire code has now become modular it becomes easy to maintain and manage this code what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and execute the code. So here, let me have this uncommented. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and execute modular DAG1. This is first approach of how to make the code modular. So this is my modular DAG1. Let me trigger the DAG. The code has successfully executed. Another approach. We have been executing these codes, so I'm not going into detail of logs and other things. Another approach of making the code modular. Here I have used execute open read combination. Most of us know that a standalone dot py file is a module by itself and you can always import the module. So we will go ahead and use this. In this case, the folder path where my Python file is present, that file is not in my system path setting so i import sys over here we had import os this time around i'll say import sys i'll add this path to system path so i'll say sys dot path dot append and the path to be appended i'll add it here now because the path setting is done 
init dot py by itself is a module so i can say from init import star from etl business logic import star so the global constants and the functions will now be available in example modular dac 2.py now if i run this code so this is my modular dag2 here i have given this dag the name modular dag2 please note the file name does not become the dag name in the interface here here in the dags active dags and all other things the file names are not the dags the name you give to the dag is what gets reflected so this is dag2 if i execute this code I will get an error. I got an error here. The reason I get an error, I have said from init import star. The global constants which I have declared in init.py will be available in this modular DAC2.py, but not here. Either I'll have to have the same thing written which means sorry which means i'll have to write this code over here set the system path so i'll have to say import sys also and then import the init file here only then the global constants will be available in etlbizlogic.py otherwise it will not be so what i am going to do is i am just going to comment this i hope you understand the solution of how to make the global constants available if i comment this and now rerun the DAG. The issue was because of that global constant. Let me show you the log also. The log would somewhere mention that value of global variable GV, GV is not defined. Okay, so the global variable was not accessible in the other .py file, which is the other .py file that is etl bizlogic.py and i have given the solution you will have to import init in that path for now i have commented this now let's go ahead run the code once again this time the code will run seamlessly without any error The extract has executed it's showing all green the code has got executed successfully so i have demonstrated so i have demonstrated two ways of making the code modular the entire objective that you should understand is the dag file which you are creating it should not be cluttered with business logic the business logic should be bare minimum here the DAG should be used to just create the data flow pipeline I hope you enjoyed the video the second problem statement which I had left while explaining XCOM was how do I make a data frame created in one task available in another function? How to make our code modular? We learned, but this part of the problem I have not yet explained. We will see that in our upcoming video. Till then, thank you. Bye bye.